Chris Rock has been posting a series of selfies showing himself getting pulled over by police officers. In fact, he's been stopped by the cops uh, about three times in the last seven weeks. There's one selfie. Let's go to the next. You see the cops' sirens in the background in right. each of the selfies. And the next. All right. You know, three times in seven weeks, man, that is, that's pretty significant. Yes. I don't know that I've been pulled over three times in the last seven years. Probably not. I probably have. Um, <laughs> I drive erratically. I have road rage. Okay, so he said that he was stopped by the cops again. Wish me luck in the last uh, selfie that he posted. This is apparently the third time Rock has been pulled over in less than two months. He was pulled over February 13th and February 27th, sharing selfies both times. So he's trying to make a point. You know, it doesn't matter how wealthy you are, it doesn't matter how famous you are, if you are a black man in America, you are likely going to get pulled over for driving while black. Yeah. And so, look, of course it's anecdotal. It, it doesn't, it's not an open and shut case. Chris Rock got pulled over a couple times, so, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the country has not improved. No, uh, but there's also a lot of empirical evidence to back up uh, what he's been experiencing. And he's drawing attention to it, and he's capable of doing that because he's famous. Mm -hmm. So people pay attention to it. Probably a lot of black dudes got pulled over three times in the last seven weeks, but nobody's checking their Twitter account, right? Yeah. So it's a good way of him bringing attention to it. And and I don't know what happens after the stops. I don't know if the stops were legitimate or not legitimate. Uh, but, you know, in a lot of those stops, it goes poorly for a lot of African Americans because they're not Chris Rock. Right. Now, there's an, a strange wrinkle to this story because Isaiah Washington got involved and he angered a lot of people. Seems like that's what Isaiah Washington likes to do. I feel like he's always in the middle of some controversy. But here's what he said. He tweeted about this incident and he said, I sold my $90,000 Mercedes G500 and bought three Priuses because I got tired of being pulled over by police. Hashtag adapt. He got a lot of criticism for that, probably for trying to sound like a rich douche. And then also the hashtag adapt made it seem as though he was giving cops a pass for stopping Chris Rock, mm -hmm. right? So he tweeted, Anyway, you millennials critique and misconstrue my message to Chris Rock. I'm getting back to my work to help free all y'all. Hashtag truth dumb. Well, I didn't know he was freeing everybody. <laughs> well, then I am giving him a As a millennial, I'm very happy to know that Isaiah Washington is out there making sure that he supports my freedom. So he went on uh, Don Lemon's show to clarify what he meant, but... He personally left me confused. He said the following, I know a lot of people took issue to that hashtag adapt, thinking I was implying that white supremacy and racial profiling would stop if he were in a different car. I will say this, since I got out of my G500 and been driving a Prius for the last four years, I have not been pulled over one time. But you shouldn't have to change what kind of car you're driving as a black person so you can avoid getting pulled over by cops. He's not really making it that much better. No, he's he's <laughs> just digging that hole, digging it. All right, there's more. Obviously, he hasn't broken any laws, and what you drive shouldn't matter. But if you are at war, which we all know we are, there is a sentiment in the air that is highly toxic, highly negative. And what I was doing by that tweet was doing exactly what I wanted, wanted it to do, is excite a conversation that if we're looking at this term black and we're looking at this term driving while black, Maybe we really need to look at the term black itself and start having a different kind of holistic conversation. What? He says that, that we're in a war. I guess he means with the authorities. So he's saying that like it's real. The authorities do pull you over more. Uh, but if you look at the word black more holistically, somehow we'll win? I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it means. I think that he realized he was just speaking nonsense. And so he just started using like words that he thought were big. I don't, so, I, don't, I, I don't know what happened there. Okay, now, JR, uh, have you been pulled over in, in, in different kinds of cars? Was it your cars that caused you to get uh, pulled over uh, or, or perhaps something else? It happens to different people. And sometimes when it comes to better cars and stuff, we've heard about people talking about how um, when they're in nicer cars, cops go, this isn't yours because it's too nice. You're a black guy. Um, but I have noticed in different cars, you do get different reactions. Oh, well, that's interesting. Super um, interesting. Maybe more depending on the rim size, the year of the car, the um, beat up, hoopty level of the car gets you pulled over more because they assume you have less money, assume you're up to something. Um, and then I think that happens more. Now, the th point with Chris Rock, I'm not sure what kind of car he's driving. And also with Isaiah Washington saying sell the $90,000 car and get three priests, I still don't get that. But 
him saying that sounds like drive a less flashy car and they won't pay attention to you, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I was getting from it. Um, so I, in general, like, you know, I had an 88 Camaro. I pulled over three times in two months with that car. I drove a 73 Nova. I got pulled over all the time in that one because uh, they're both loud. <laughs> um, so things like that happen. So it is based on cars, but you shouldn't have to worry about that type of stuff, you know? And now the car I drive now, I've never been pulled over in it. I drove a, a, a Crossfire. I got pulled over once in that one. And just because that one looks quick and fast and it's smaller. This one I have now is a sedan. It's a white sedan, and it looks very unassuming. No one even looks at me in that car. So that's so really, it's a big deal. You know, that's really interesting, right? So it, it turns out there are two factors, right? Yeah. So uh, me, I, I don't think I've ever gotten pulled over in L.A. New Jersey's different. There's mm -hmm. speed traps everywhere in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. You act, you look at the speed limit kind of funny and they'll pull you over, right? That's the way they make money in New Jersey. But in Los Angeles, ain't nobody got time for pulling people yeah, over. Yeah, they just give you parking tickets. <laughs> right, that's what they do. <laughs> so, uh, but that's my perspective. But JR has been pulled over countless times, yeah. right? So he, Isaiah Washington is probably right about one thing, which is that maybe Prius gets you pulled over less. Like, so you can't go too fancy a car, you can't go too crappy a car, right? As JR is pointing out. But you, if you're black, you gotta hit it right in the middle, right? Whereas if you're not black, yeah, well, then you've got a lot more cars you can choose from. And doesn't that already prove Chris Rock's point mm -hmm. that there's different rules for African Americans than there are for the rest of Americans? Yeah, but does Isaiah Washington understand that? I'm not sure he does. You know, I might, I might have thought it's just anecdotal. You know, happens to be the last seven weeks. Uh, but then I also read that he got pulled over when he was doing comedians. Uh, it, in cars getting coffee with Jerry Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. He even got Jerry Seinfeld pulled over. Yeah. Okay, they were in a Lamborghini and they're like, oh, there's a black guy in a Lamborghini, let's pull him over. <laughs> Is that, that's amazing, man. Mm -hmm. When in reality, it shouldn't make any sense to pull over a black guy in an extremely expensive car if he stole it. Why would you steal a Lamborghini and just joyride in the middle of yeah. LA? You steal a, a million dollar car. They're never gonna catch me in this one. Yeah. They're not gonna see it coming. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, so th there's other facts. My brother was getting pulled over a lot, and he lived down in San Diego. And I told him, I said, you didn't go to University of Sa uh, UC San Diego. I said, but go to the campus, get a license plate frame that says UCSD alum, and I guarantee you the number of pull -up pullovers you get will drop. They look at license plate frames. Of course, they got to see license plate frames. I had my USC thing on there every time. I didn't have it on my Nova, and I didn't have it on my Camaro. I got pulled over. Um, it's just one of those things. There's a legitimacy thing they have in their brain. Oh, this guy's a, a college student. This guy's a college graduate. All this stuff goes in their brain because they're thinking, I got this drug dealer. Oh, I got this drug addict. Oh, we're going to find some weed in this guy's car. Oh, he doesn't know his rights. All this stuff that goes straight into the thought process, and if all that is diffused or put aside, they're like, I can't get anything out of this guy. No, well, he's no. probably legit. And so you give them all these different reasons to think to leave you the hell alone. No, that's a great, great point. Did he has he gotten pulled over since he had the He didn't listen to me, he didn't do it. Oh. <laughs> that's well then he had to come. 